Oh, <laughs> hey. I'll just have to save this for later. But if anyone touches it, cowabunga, dude. Now that we got that out of the way, I'm your host, Ruby J, and today we're talking about how the look of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles mutated over the years. So let's bust out of the sewers and jump right into it on what they got right with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Fourteen turtles in a ninja street fight. It's day of and day. This is what they got right. With the upcoming Nickelodeon reboot, Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the show's animators have made some of the most unique looking turtles the Turtleverse has seen in years. Because for the first time ever, each brother is his own species of turtle. Raphael is a snapping turtle, Michelangelo a box turtle, Donatello a soft shell turtle, and Leo a red-eared slider. Unfortunately for the Eastern Longnecks turtle, it'll have to wait for another reboot to get its time in the spotlight. And the animators didn't choose the species lightly. For instance, they picked a soft shell turtle for Donatello, since in this version, he's a tech genius who creates hard battle shells in order to protect himself. And he's even got one of them rigged up with a built-in hoverboard. Hopefully Bebop doesn't get his hands on it though. Otherwise, I guess pigs really will fly. Another huge first in turtle history is that the leader and oldest brother will no longer be Leonardo, but Raphael. And when I said oldest brother, I also meant the biggest brother. I, for one, can't wait to see how this new jumbo version of Raphael manages to fit through a sewer hole. In the new series, each turtle will be so unique, you'll never get them mixed up. But did you know that the turtles weren't always so colorful and distinct? In fact, they started out as characters in a black and white comic book series, with their weapons being the only thing that distinguished them from one another. The creators eventually added color, but even then, they had all the turtles wear red. Nowadays, Raphael is the only turtle who wears red, which is a relief because matching uniforms can be a recipe for disaster. No one wants to accidentally wear their brother's underwear. It wasn't until the 1987 animated series that they decided to give each turtle his own color. But originally, they were all supposed to have the same personality too modeled after Huey, Dewey, and Louie from the original DuckTales series. Luckily, they scrapped that and gave each turtle his own unique quirks, because modeling the turtles off the ducks means that they would have worn baseball caps and ugh, turtlenecks. Without their cool Japanese weapons, these ninja turtles would just be plain old six foot tall mutants. And those accessories have gone through some changes over the years too. Early concept art shows that Michelangelo's iconic nunchucks almost had three links instead of two. But with all those links, he wouldn't have none chucks. He'd have too many chucks. And finally, April O'Neil, who is also getting an epic redesign in the upcoming series. The Ninja Turtles team is giving her dark hair and dark skin and has made her a lot younger than the redheaded lady in the yellow jumpsuit we've seen in a lot of other depictions. And while this might seem like a big change, it's actually a return to how April looked way back when she first appeared in the 80s, when she had a dark complexion. Also, in the reboot, April joins in on the action, wielding a baseball bat as her weapon of choice for the first time in the series. Which is a step up from having to use Donatello's staff for batting practice. Over the years, the turtles have mutated more than a peanut butter and clam pizza left in the microwave. But what stayed the same through and through is brotherly love, ninja kicks, and of course, pizza! Mmm, thanks for watching what they got right. Mm. Ooh. Make sure to leave a comment telling me what I should talk about next. Then click up there to subscribe to DreamWorks TV for new videos every single day. Until next time. <laughs> Can someone give me some more pizza?